Right now we have John Sondag. He's from, he's the president of ATT Missouri, and they are a sponsor of the St. Louis Chess Club. Good man. Yes, we always love to have friends here at the club, and John Sondag, who is the president of AT&T Missouri, is such a friend. First of all, welcome to the show. Yeah, it's always a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Tell us about AT&T uh, Missouri's involvement in chess initiatives. We know you support college prep initiatives. Mm -hmm. Why chess? Well, a couple things. First of all, um, education is our number one philanthropic uh, objective and, you know, and focusing on the high school dropout problem. And I think when we look at chess, one, it's, it's something that can be brought into, uh, you know, inner city schools. Uh, it's not a very expensive sport to start off with, with, uh, with what you have. But I think that the, the critical thinking, the strategic thinking, the discipline you have to have uh, to, to play the game, I think that that goes hand in hand with, uh, with I think, focusing kids on, on how, to, how to stay at attentive, how to focus on something like this. Uh, and I think it, it bleeds out over into their schoolwork. Absolutely, something I 100% support and believe in. What other initiatives do you do, uh, you support uh, as a company? So, you know, we, as I mentioned, fil uh, we, we, we support a lot, but education is, is the primary focus. So we will work uh, not only in the high school dropout issue that I mentioned, but also on promoting STEM curriculum. So we work with organizations like, let's say, the Boy Scouts, focusing with them on how to uh, refocus the scouting program so that's more on some of the science related merit badges uh, so we'll get involved in with, to try to uh, in integrate those programs in, along with camping but um, really any organization that uh, works with schools uh, big brothers big sisters here uh, a lot of things that when they focus on an education related program and how to bring that especially to inner city or disadvantaged schools uh, those are things we'd like to invest in. Uh, we think in the long term, uh, it'll it'll help the education level, it'll help the kids, and ultimately uh, it betters the communities where we serve. All right. So let me ask you: Are you a chess player? Uh, I am not a very good one, but I, I enjoy playing, and I find that uh, as I've gotten older, my um, patience level and wanting to really sit there and focus uh, starts to uh, to wane. But I, I think it's great. I, I you know I play uh, with my kids. They're they're in their twenties now, and we played since they were, they were small. Uh, they still enjoy doing that, and I, I love getting out and having a good game. Who's the boss of the family in chess? Uh, I'd have to say uh, probably my son, who uh, 27 year old. He's a uh, engineer, and he's grown up. He's he's got the smarts and the maneuvers, and he's got the patience now that sometimes I don't. I want to try to try to go for the win quickly, and I've, you know that's not the smart way to do it. Have you ever played Rex? I have not played Rex, and we've talked about that. But I uh, I think Rex could probably beat me. But I'd be willing to take him on. Rex will make an illegal move and you'll win the game on the technicality, don't worry about it. <laughs> there you it. go. I can count on that too. It all counts the same. Well, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate all the initiatives that your company does. We, we appreciate all the friendship that you, you provide and support for the kids in chess. Well, great. It's a, it's a great endeavor and we're, we're happy to support it. John Sondag, president of AT&T Missouri, one of the many companies that are supporting chess initiatives here in St. Louis.